Paul, one of the more uh, used words in the Hawaiian language, even to this day, you know, even with our so-called, what's called today, Hawaii Creole English or, or standard Pidgin English in Hawaii. Uh, the word pau has many, many uses and many, many meanings. But first of all, you recognize pau is a VS. It is a status, it's a condition. Uh, in Hawaii, we call hopena again, that it's a result. Yeah, what is the result of something? And so when we go back to the meaning of pau, as used even to this day, you can think of pau going everything from the idea of all or total or complete or um, destroyed or consumed or um, um, uh, fulfilled in the sense of everything being pau. It's done. And so with that, the main purpose of using pau, especially as a po'o, in a Pepeki Painu sentence, is to represent the idea that something has been completed, something is done, the fact that you're stressing and you're stressing the all, and the result is really that it's all, the totality. So let's look at some examples we have here. Well, Pau Kaha Avina. Now in English, it might be commonly said, you know, I done, I did all my homework. Yeah, I did, I did all my homework. Well, in Hawaiian, it's really all my homework is done. My homework is completed by me. Again, so even listening to that in English, it sounds weird in a sense that it's a non-agentive, but in Hawaiian, it's not the fact that I did my homework, but the fact that I'm stressing that all of it has been done. So anytime you're trying to, again, stress the idea, the result, the open, it's all, that it's total, that it's completed, we use this particular uh, so-called structure. Yeah, so, for example, what Pauka Avina. So, what about the homework? The fact that all of it has been completed. It's done. It's completed. How is it completed? Well, who did it? Well, in a non-agentive sense, in Hawaiian, you're not really stressing the fact it was I. I could express it with a sense of due to me, because of me. And again, this is that cause of this. So, remember, where, I, where we have a VS here, I could show the so-called cause by marking with E or Ya, which is also commonly done with Pau. The second, Wa Pau Ka'uha Vina, which is really more prevalent to express the idea of if I was going to say, I did all my homework. In Hawaiian, all my homework is done. Wa Pau Ka'uha Vina, meaning, what about my homework? It's completed. And so the sense of who completed it is not as important, therefore, that's why it's dropped into the Ave position. Whereas in English, we got to remember, in English, they like to stress the agent and not the result. This is an example is when you're stressing the result and not the agency. So very opposite of English. And the last one, of course, just like any pepeki painu, yes, you can negate it. Ole uh, ipau, that the homework is not totally finished by me. So let's look at some examples. So if we think again of pau as having, you know, many of those different meanings, again, everything from total, everything to done, consumed, all of, destroyed. Um, pau has, pau has a very hard um, uh, defining without the context. And that's the main thing to remember. You always have to have the po ayapilio context. Now, uh, so in Hawaii, a lot of times we'll just say, hey, pau, is it over? Yeah, I'm not asking, did you finish it? Where in English, I might say, did you finish your homework? In Hawaiian, again, I might be saying, is your homework finished by you? So let's look at some example from English. You know, um, she ate all the, the fish. Yeah, so there's two ways I can, trans I can translate this into Hawaiian. She ate, yeah, regular pepeke paino, uai oya. Ika and they represent the idea of all of the ia. We say until all. That's that kua, a pau. That you ate the fish until a, ah, it's all gone. Same meaning of all gone. That's the whole pena. Now this is a very common way, but in this sentence we got to remember what is the main focus of this sentence. That the fact that, uai, that's the main focus of this sentence. That's why it's in the po position. There's another way you can say this in a very Hawaiian way. If I'm saying she ate all the fish, 
but I want to stress the fact that all of the fish was eaten. Maybe I want to stress all. So I might say something in Hawaiian thinking, all the fish is done, is gone. Yeah, is, I'm going to just use the word pow because uh, of the translation. All the fish is pow due to her. And just to kind of pay attention, we notice in this one here, I'm, fa I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on this all. Not that she ate the fish, but the fact that all of it has been eaten. So in Hawaiian, I would use, in fact, the word pow commonly. And this becomes my po'o, wa pow. Well, what is pow? Kai'a. So you notice, yeah, just to compare the, these two examples, where in the first one, wa oya, oya is being focused upon as the so-called pico, the subject. In this sentence, the fish, the fact that all the fish is pow, is the main focus of the sentence. How was that fish pow? Due to her. And the causative due to her, yaya, because of her. Well, pow ka'i'a, yaya, and commonly, we know that this yaya can also move up here, and both would be correct. Well, pow yaya, Kaia, or even more commonly, another way this should be expressed is wapau kanaia, perhaps, is another way this was to be expressed. But the main thing to remember about the usage of the word pau is that when you, when you use pau, you're stressing on the fact it's all versus stressing on the fact that, for example, that she ate. Let's look at another example. I mean, I can take many sentences like in English, like all the children are sleeping. Yeah, maybe all the children are sleeping. All the children are sleeping. Now, regular pepeke painu. Um, I could be saying something like, you know, kehia moine na keiki. Ah, uh, unto all, a uh, pow. And that's fine. But again, we, we just to pay attention, what is being focused on fact? The main focus is that the children are sleeping. That's why it's a pepeke painu as an action. Hana. <laughs> but I can, if I wanted to stress the fact, like in English, not just that the kids are sleeping, but the fact that it's all of the kids. I want to really stress the fact that it's all of the kids. I can use, in fact, pow. Yeah, what's pow? Na keiki. Now, we could quickly get confused. In, what do you mean pow? Like the, cake, the, the children are all consumed, they're all dead? No. I'm going to explain wh about all of the keiki, what's pow? The fact that they are sleeping. And so, this is the sentence. Wa pow na keiki, and that's the cause, because of sleeping. I might say, ika hiamoi, ika hiamoi anna, ika hiamoi pu anna, and, and vice versa. But the main thing about this one, and I'm going to make a bigger star here, is that what's focusing on is the fact that it's all of them. Not that some of them are sleeping, but the fact I'm stressed that it's all of the children are sleeping. Pau na keik, ika hiamoi. Let me try another example. Another example we can look at. Yeah, maybe I have something like, you know, um, uh, you know, they will eat all the food. Yeah, they will eat all the food. Now, like I said, there's two ways I can look at this in Hawaii. If I'm going to stress the fact they will eat, or is it the fact that it's all? What am I focusing on? In the regular pepeke painu, they will eat. Yeah. E ai lawa. Or e ai ana lawa. What are they going to eat? Ikamiai. What food? All of it. A pao. That works. But maybe I want to stress the all. Not just they will eat, but the fact that all the food. A pao. Again, it's not lawa, but pao kamiai. That all the food will be pow. 
from whom? Or by whom? Or because of whom? Yalawa. But maybe I want to say because of their eating. I can also say Ikolawa Ayana. This is why it's all going to be pow because of their eating it. I can also say because of being eaten, Ikaia. Because of being eaten, Ikaia by whom? Elawa. And finally, if you notice, I can actually just use the top one. Yeah, it will be the same. E paukamea ya lawa. Ikaia. Now you notice, I'm going to just mark these two here. Very similar. Yeah, all the food will be gone because of them from being eaten. The second, all the food will be gone by being eaten by them too. Now, if you notice that, they're very similar in translation. And the only way I would say that they're different is that what's being focused on is it the fact that it's, it's because of them. That's the main fact first. And then how is it being powered because of being eaten? Or is it the fact that it's being eaten? It happens to be by them. They're both correct. They're both stressing a little different. Again, the first one, in fact, is the idea that it's because of them being eaten. Verse number two, it's because being eaten, and then we know by them. And so at the time we have ia, the a. And, um, and you can see many different combinations of using pow in many different ways. And because pow, again, is a vs. All maka painu work, as in negative. Yeah? The food will not be totally consumed by them. I could say the food is being consumed by them right now. It hasn't been totally eaten yet, but it's on its way to there. And so forth. And again, to remember that pau is a VS. It is a hopena meaning it is the end result of something. And it has many, many usages as a, in Hawaiian, which many times expresses, again, the idea of something being focused is totality, all of, consumed, even the sense of being destroyed. You could say things, for example, like, wapaukahale. Wapaukahale, from what? Ikiahi. The house was consumed with fire. Yeah, and so forth. So with that, again, Imokako.